do it again. And if the first one wasn't any good, what's going to make the second one any better? legislation to integrate schools. Yeah. And our schools still not integrate. Right. 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 They, they, they said that we're going to have our rights and the rights we're supposed to have, we still don't have. Right. Oh yeah, we made some advice, but they did love to give you some crumbs. But my point is this, it's like, this is just a little distracting for me. I was looking at some stuff and, and uh, my boy was depicting when, when Malcolm X was on Johnny Carson's show. And the process is, uh, what do you as a Negro want? And Malcolm looked him in the eyes. He says, uh, Mr. Carson, you're a white man. What do you want? Do you want your children to have a good education? Do you want your family to be safe? Do you want to be able to live in a peaceful environment? You want to be able to advance without discrimination. Yeah. And you know, I'm paraphrasing, you can look it up and say, but Mr. Carson, I want what you want. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. See, the problem is you let folk tell you to tell them what black folk want. Yeah. Yeah. We want what they want. Right. We don't want reverse discrimination. We right. want you to treat us fair. Let me start off by talking about lying labels. Lying labels. That, that we live in a world that loves to put a label on you that are really lying labels. Let's get to the text. God is about to cross Israel over into the promised land. Moses has already been told, you're not going. I'm going to take you out and we're going to let Joshua lead them over. But before God puts Moses to rest, he gives Moses a last word. He said, Moses, these people are going to go over to the promised land, but they're going to disappoint us. He didn't say him, he said, they are going to fall. They're going to worship other gods. They're going to turn away from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to turn away from me. They're going to start doing their own thing. They will be enticed by other nations. They will be enticed by other stuff. And they're going to turn yeah, yeah. from me. Yeah, yeah. He said, but when you turn away from me, you need to wake up. I wish I had a witness here. Because you can't get what I'm offering you unless you get it with me. Lying lady. Where you get from, preacher? Israel considered themselves God's people. God was leading them through the wilderness. He led them by a cloud during the day and by fire during the night. God was a part of their existence. They considered themselves God's people. But isn't it amazing how you go contrary to what God has told you? And you still want to consider yourself God's people. You want to lie and cheat and mislead and misuse and still consider yourself God's people. You want to misuse the poor and mistreat the, 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 the humble, the low, the, the lowly and, and still consider yourself representing God. And God said, you can't fool you. You can't fool me. You can't fool the world. There are some stipulations of being called my children. You can't just put a label on it and make it smell good. If it's the wrong kind of stuff, it's just the wrong kind of stuff. I was a witness for me. And you see what I'm trying to get you to see? I was listening to the news report the other day, and one of the senators who voted it to uh, impeach Donald Trump, he said, he said, he said that they, he was, he was being dejected. When they first said that the Republican senators would be picked on, I'm thinking they're talking about the ones who voted against the impeachment. But they were saying, no, it was the ones who 
voted for the impeachment. But that ain't my fault. That if y'all knew that's why they, uh, the, the one got me, this one man, they quoted from the letter his own family wrote him. Yeah. His own family said, we are most disappointed in yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. We have been proud of your accomplishments. We have celebrated all that you've been able to accomplish in your lifetime. But now we are ashamed of you. We are especially ashamed because you have let God down and let Christians down. You can call yourself a Christian and vote for what you vote. I wish I had a witness. And my question was, how are you going to get on a man for voting for what is right? And then dare say he voted against God and he voted against Christianity. It ain't nothing new. That's really what's been going on for the whole election. Folk told folk that you need to vote the Bible and you need to vote what God said. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about before that one is your voice is what they want to use and they claim that's what God wants. Well, let me tell you something, baby. You can't go around putting labels on stuff and thinking God's going to endorse it. You can't go around putting labels on stuff because you say it's good and you think God's going to recognize Wrong is wrong, bad is bad, evil is evil. I don't care what label you put on it, there's still something wrong with it. And you have to understand that it is a day of reckoning. Do I have a witness here? Yeah, yeah. Israel had that problem. They consider we are God's people. And God says, stop lying to yourself. You can't be my people if you don't know who I am. God, but we don't want to realize the purpose of being a child of God. We want the privilege without the responsibility. But if you don't have the privilege, you have to put something forward. You can't have the blessings of knowing God if you don't know God. You can't know God unless you spend some time with God. You can't have the blessings of walking in God's word if you don't spend time in God's word. You can't have the best of God if I don't plan the right time to see Him. Because you say you good, because you say you're a great church, because you say you're a great child of God, doesn't mean anything. I told him yesterday, you get all the folks you want to come to your funeral and give remarks, and we can be here five, six hours, and you can still bust hell wide open. Talk to the dark. They want to worship a confederate. 
Spirit flag. They want to worship a memory of some people who did nothing but spread hatred and animosity. And they're trying to find some justice in all of that. And how is it you can see them having no problems protecting their corrupt history and got a problem with you trying to commemorate your history? In February. Yeah. They got every kind of special in February. <laughs> they want to praise so many folk in February. Everything, all kinds of celebrating in February. Why would you be 12 months? Why you got to be mama? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But see, see they, they are embarrassed when they deal with us because we remind them of some problems they have. Amen. Yeah. We remind we remind them of some things they've done. And I said, them, I'm not talking about white folk. I'm talking about some of you folk. Amen. Y'all understand when folks start coming to my church. We said, uh, I heard my church say, so they can sue you for just calling folk on guitar. I said, I should have been sued for them. Because <laughs> <laughs> anytime you more concerned with pleasing white folk, be wrong with pleasing God, you got a problem. You got an idol of God. You got a problem. They made an idol out of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We more concerned with greed than we all the people of Christian. We used to say a nation under God. And now we put God under the nation. Okay. Okay. Oh. When you talk to God, pray to God, lift up God, worship God. But now folk don't have time for God. Right. They want to have Christmas, but don't mention God. They right. want to have Easter, but don't mention God. You can talk about all the rabbits you want. <laughs> but don't talk about the cross. I wish I had a witness here. That's what I call lying labels. Right. I came back to tell you, God said you can keep lying if you want. But there is a day of reckoning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got to wait a long time. You don't think no coronavirus is just an accident. Oh, it's no accident. It didn't just happen in America. It's happening all over the world. You get to a point where your medicine can't do any good. You can get to a point where all your knowledge is going to help you. That you get to a point where you think you're controlling life, and you find out life is controlling you. No accident that we were without lights last week. Right. Wow. That you did that. That's some junkers who was taking money under the table. And yeah. It burns me up when your couple have the audacity to point a finger at that top. And he knows where the people he pointed a finger at, he was responsible for regulating their activity. Something, but it's not true. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have a witness here. She, 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 
to God and said, I don't want no half-hearted love. I don't want no pass by night love. I, I want a committed love. I need you not to just love me with your mouth. I need to love you to love me with your heart, with your mind, with your soul, and with all of your strength. I want you to love me with your heart, your mind, your soul, and with all your strength.
could treat him bad, he could treat you worse. And just because your brother is down today and you are up, doesn't mean it has to stay that way. Because God knows how to flip. He knows how to turn. I wish I had a witness. He can turn things topsy turvy. He, he can turn things upside down. You might think you're at the bottom one minute, and before you know it, you're on the top the next. Some of y'all looking at me. One minute, Saul is king, and David is a shepherd boy. But when God got through, Saul is gone, and David is king. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Saul got the title, but David has the protection. Yeah. You see, when God takes over, things start to change. Yeah. Yes, when you love the Lord, uh, He can make your life worth living. Yeah. That takes me to my last point uh, that if I'm going to be who God wants me to be, uh, I've got to love life. Yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Yes, Something is wrong with somebody who claimed they love the Lord and then they want to commit suicide. Yeah. You see, if you want to take your own life, you would have to say, I want to be God. Yeah. I wish I had a witness. Yeah. You see, you didn't give you your life. Yeah. Your mom and daddy didn't give you your life. Yeah. God gave you life. Yes, sir. And if God gave you life, nobody have the right to take a life but the Lord. Amen. Amen. I didn't say you can't take a life. I said you have no right to take a life. Amen. Amen. Do I have a written witness here? Yeah. Well, you got to learn life uh, and you got to love life. But you see, if you're a child of God living the way God wants you to live, uh, you find out real living is only life lived uh, God's way. Yeah. yeah, I said yesterday that there's a problem uh, with people think you enjoying life. Well, preacher, let me have my fun. And when I went get through having fun, uh, then I'll come to church and I'll stay and be one of your members. Uh, first thing, brother or sister, I need to tell you there's no guarantee you won't see tomorrow. Yeah, you, you're not guaranteed to be able to come after the fun is over. Because uh, the Lord might call your number while you're still having fun. You don't have a witness here. But the next thing I want to tell you, you don't really know what fun uh, is all about. You allowed the devil uh, to put his finger in your eye. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what joy is uh, because you've been, uh, yes, uh, you've been hoodwinked. Uh, Yes, uh, you've been, uh, yeah, caboozled. Uh, somebody that messed you up uh, into making you thinking that craziness is joy. Uh, yeah, you yeah. see, if you with the wrong crowd, uh, yeah. they tell you throwing a brick uh, and breaking a window uh, is having a good time. Uh, if you with the wrong crowd, uh, they'll tell you that putting drugs uh, in a lady's drink uh, and having your way with you uh, is having a good time. Uh, when you're with the wrong crowd, uh, fun can be defined a whole lot of the wrong ways. Uh, but I came by to tell you, uh, there is no real life uh, without God in your life. Yes. You can't have real joy uh, unless you have the joy of the Lord. Real joy comes from the Lord. Yeah, I know, I know it's old, you've heard it before, but yes, it's all so true. Israel, I'm about to take you over into the promised land. I'm about to give you what I promised your folk fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I want to tell you, when you get there, if you really want to enjoy the land, you need to have the attitude that Abraham had. If you want to enjoy it, you need to have the faith.
the waver hand. If you don't trust me, uh, yes, like Abraham trusted me. Uh, in fact, you ought to learn from Abraham uh, where he messed it up. Uh, and he decided uh, to help me out. Uh, when he thought I was taking too long, uh, he decided to go to sleep with Hagar uh, and make a baby. Uh, yes, uh, because he couldn't wait on God. Uh, but I wish I had him with his head. Uh, but I came by to tell you the story said when he was old uh, and 99 years old, uh, he went in up to Sarah. Uh, she said, you're going to let an old lady have a good time. Uh, and God said, yeah, it took a long time coming. Uh, but you know some blessings are better uh, after they've been around a while. Blessings are better uh, when it's allowed uh, to really ferment uh, and bring forth the right kind of joy. Uh, you know the story. Uh, the Bible declared uh, that God had his way. Uh, and he tells you uh, that you need to have your way. Uh, yes, uh, I'm closing right here. Uh, but I just came by to tell you, uh, God told them. Uh, but he's also talking to us. Uh, you are free to choose. You can choose life. Or you can choose death. You can choose right. Or you can choose wrong. It's all up to you. I wish I had somebody here. But not only can you choose, he gave you a promise. He said, I know they're going to mess up. They will mess up. But he said, I got some good news. After they mess up, if they fall from their wicked ways and turn back to me, I will have mercy on them. Give us yeah. somebody that said, We serve a God who is merciful. I will have mercy on them. I will forgive their past. I'll forgive their mistakes. I'll give them another chance. If you choose life, you'll find out. What yeah. real men is all about. Yeah. If you choose life, I'll show you the joys of the Lord. Yeah. Is there anybody here that has chosen life? I told him on yesterday. I've told you many times before. The greatest choice I ever made when I chose to have Jesus in my life. Yeah. Choosing Jesus is the best thing I've ever done. Calling Jesus uh, my elder brother uh, is the best thing I ever done. Uh, we uh, depending on Jesus uh, to be my savior uh, is the best thing I ever done. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that Jesus lifted me. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that He allowed me, uh, yes, to be called His child. Uh, I'm yeah. so glad uh, He lifted me up. Uh, Jesus is able to carry you through. Is there anybody here who knows my Jesus? Is there anybody here who knows my Lord? Some of y'all ought to say yes. You ought to say yes. Need some of y'all to testify. Need some of y'all to testify. You hope that was out there in the fast life. You were living in the fast life. The club. You were drinking everything you could drink and taking everything you could take. And you thought you were living a good life. They have to wake you up the next day. You had a headache and a hangover. And you thought you were living a good life. You go to work under a cloud. You're not a cloud over the people. You got a cloud in your head.
Thank you. 